arrive in Ireland as a refugee, as, I mean, as a refugee, as an asylum seeker, it's not a, a simple thing. You know, people always have doubts about you, always have like you're an opportunist, you just want to take advantage of the, of the system. In direct provision, you're not allowed to cook. That's where our table came from. You're not allowed to seek employment. You're not allowed to create employment. You're not al allowed to go to school. I'm very ambitious. I'm a, I'm a businesswoman, you know. I'm an activist and I'm also a social entrepreneur. And get stuck into direct provision, it, it makes less of you, which even your confidence, your self-esteem can be taken away so easily. Also being stuck in that situation has come with a huge positivity. It has connected me to the Irish community that I've been received really well in the community that after setting up, you know, co-founding uh, my project Our Table with Michelle Damode, you know, I've seen a lot of love, a lot of, of a pouring uh, support because our focus for our table is food and food, you know, it's, an, it's a universe thing which brings people together and it has really done that. I miss my pumpkin vegetable, uh, my, 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 my pumpkin vegetables, which are cooked in peanut butter, in tomato peanut butter soup. And I missed my free range hard chicken, which is cooked into mango garlic sauce, sweet, uh, a mango garlic sweet tomato sauce. It's perfectly beautiful. So <laughs> the Dublin dream for me is to um, create my own empire, which I know that one day I will do. Like, what I want is to create multiple cafes, not only one cafe, but multiple cafes. And now my kids have joined me. So now I have also to leave for my children that, fine guys, I've stuck in direct provision for eight years. You are stuck in direct provision for two, three years, but you are not going to stuck with me. You are not going to go down with me. I don't care what comes tomorrow. What I care is for today, and what I care is what I've done today, and what's going to bring, like, years from now. So that's what I care most. I believe like two or three years from now, maybe people will be like, there was a lady in, in Ireland who was from Malawi who speak about ABCD. And that gives me comfort.